Hey, let's go to the Gavit games. Like you just alluded to, the Champions Classic is this week, but uh, more important to our circle of the world is the Gavit games. That's Big East. That's Big Ten. Uh, should I say Little Ten, Medium Ten? I don't know. We don't even look like we could fit a Medium right now. So, Stinky, stinky uh, Ten. It, it starts with Michigan St. John's. We just alluded to. We also have Xavier Purdue on Monday. Uh, and then from there, things really heat up. We've got Wisconsin and Providence. We've got Marquette at Illinois. It's a really fun one. Iowa and Creighton. We might get 120 points from one of the teams in that game. Uh, we've got Georgetown Rutgers on Wednesday and uh, Butler, Michigan State, and Maryland Villanova to close it out on Friday. It's a lot of games, first of all. I just love to run through those games. Uh, it, what's the game you're most looking forward to? Obviously, your team and my team both play. I would say Michigan St. John's is good. Michigan State Butler's boring other than the Pierre Brooks one. Is there a game that doesn't include our two teams that you're looking forward to? Yeah, I mean, I think the easy one here for me is Marquette at Illinois. I mean, Marquette having to go into the State Farm Center. Not sure what the status is on Tyler Kolick. I, I know he got hurt at the end of the last game, but – I think that's going to be a, that's a massive opportunity as well. We just talked about how that game with Michigan, if they win, it proves they're a good team. There's going to be, I'm going to overreact if Illinois beats this Marquette team, even though it's at home and even though it's in November, I think like I'll really be willing to take that jump of the confidence that I have in this Illinois team and them being possibly, Oh, right now I think they're the second best team in the big 10. Uh, and if they win this basketball game, I think that's solidified. And then I also would be willing to even go a step further as they're like, they can compete, I think, to win a Big Ten title if yeah. they beat this Marquette team. I think it'll be a very impressive victory. State Farm Center will be rocking for sure. The only thing I wish actually happened was if Georgetown played at uh, at Illinois and we got the return of Jay Epps, <laughs> fresh off a loss to Holy Cross. That would have been pretty fun. But uh, yeah, I think the Illinois Marquette game is going to be a really good one. And I hope that you know, Kolick is healthy as well so that uh, there's no narratives around the game as far as Illinois only won because Kolick was hindered. Yeah. What, touching on the Epps point, uh, I'm willing to concede to Illinois fans that we were wrong in how much we emphasized that we thought Epps mattered and should have stayed. Uh, I still think I like this Illinois roster more if Epps is there and you can make it work. But if you believe, hey, we just couldn't make it work, we couldn't see eye to eye, he would have been hanging over the program in a toxic way. Um, I think we overestimated his on-court impact based on what we've seen from Illinois and now what we've seen from Apps at Georgetown. Uh, still, I don't know what happened to that secret scrimmage. Like, whatever the – can we get the film? It's like the Wilt game where you got to – can we get the film of Apps get yeah. 50? Because I'm confused about it. But, uh, Man, I uh, I like this Illinois team, too. I think you're right. Right now, I would say alone at number two in the Big Ten. And you know how hard it is for me to say that with my team looking so great right now. But mm -hmm. I still think there's separation in a good way for Illinois, largely because of how good Brad Underwood has been in the conference. Like, I just – I have so much respect for his ability to win a lot of games in the regular season in the Big Ten. Like, he he's going to do that every single year. Um, now – I think that's definitely the best game here. And I think it's a statement opportunity and quite frankly, a statement opportunity that Illinois should hope to win and that the conference really needs them to win outside of that game. I'm pretty scared for everybody. That's not Purdue in this conference. Um, Wisconsin's on the road at Providence. Wisconsin kind of hung with Tennessee over the weekend. Do you believe in the Badgers right now or not? I actually do believe in the Badgers. I think that there's no, to me, there's no, I don't know, bad blood or whatever term you want to use that they lost at home to Tennessee because Dalton Connect is a monster and that Tennessee team is really good. Like, they're for real in my eyes. So I, I don't think it's really necessarily anything to hang their head about. I also think they need a siege back at full health before I, like, really, really make a judgment on this Wisconsin team. But to me, I think A.J. Store has been what they need right now, even though he – you know, went seven for 20 and he took 20 shots. Like that's, that's something I think this Wisconsin team needs. Uh, I'm a lot higher on Wisconsin. If we were doing like a segment on what teams have like actually swayed me in the big 10 a lot, uh, Wisconsin would be right up there at the top as far as teams that have swayed me in a more positive direction than I, that I had on them coming into the season. Okay. Yeah. I, 
I can't get there with Wisconsin. Here's why. I know Asijin is hurt. My stance all offseason was that Storr and Asijin both can't break out at the same time. Injury aside, I still feel very strongly about that. Like Asijin came off the bench in game one for Klesmit. I think that's the plan regardless of if he's healthy or not. I don't think they trust Asijin defensively. I don't think they're going to play him in store together to start or end games. Um, I don't know. I I don't want to say anything too crazy because like it's young and he is definitely hobbling from his back. But like Asijin's the guy I think you would have prayed broke out. And instead it looks like his role is really going to be minimized. Is Wisconsin really that much better just replacing Connor Asijin with AJ Store? My answer would be no. They're not. They're the same team as last year with a little more spice to it, with a guy that'll shoot 20 times instead of 12 times. I'm not afraid of that team. I get that Tennessee's really good. Dalton Connect's awesome. That game was not ever in question for one second in my mind. I watched it from start to finish. Uh, Tennessee it jumped. Got, it, got, it got tied in the second half. The end of the first half. Tennessee jumped on them okay. early. They were up 10 with 16 minutes left, and it was, I mean, it was coast from there. Like, yeah, and and by the way, the way Wisconsin was trying to come back was like Tyler Wall at the free throw line. Like this, I'm sorry, you're just not you're not going to sell me on this group of vets being really good for Wisconsin. Um, so I I don't know. Like that's an interesting one because I think Wisconsin's a better team than Providence. But are you really going on the road to Providence and getting a win? Like right now, I don't trust any Big Ten team on the road anywhere. Like <laughs> I, I yeah. we're talking up like Iowa Creighton offensively, but like. Iowa might get 160 hung on them in this game. I think, yeah, I think Creighton, I think Creighton wins that game by like 20, by the way. Yeah, I, I'm scared for everybody involved in a lot of ways. Like, I guess, can we do the the full blown prediction? How many games do you think the Big Ten gets in the Gavin games? You have a list of all, yeah, you want to go, let's go one by one and pick the winners. Okay, I'm trying okay. to find a, a concise way to, okay, Xavier, Purdue. Oh, Purdue. Purdue, Michigan, St. John's, Michigan, Michigan. So two Oh, big 10 at the end of Monday is where you and I are at Wisconsin, Providence, 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 Marquette, Illinois. I think Illinois gets them at home. I'm going to go Marquette. I'm worried about Illinois given the way their first halves went the last two games. Okay. Kolik is a little banged up though. And what's the last Thing that happened when we saw a banged up Kolik against the Big Ten team? He hyped up a fan base and got him excited. You know what? I just changed my mind. I'm going to Illinois. I, for, <laughs> I forgot Kolik's banged up and what banged up Kolik looks like. I'll take Illinois. That's 3-1 Big Ten. Iowa Creighton. 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 Uh, Georgetown Rutgers. Is that at Georgetown or at Rutgers? At Rutgers. Uh, Rutgers. I, I I can't imagine the Big Ten actually winning this. That means they got to lose one of these. So I'm going Georgetown. I don't think Rutgers is good at all. Yeah, I don't think Georgetown's good at all either, though. Derek Simpson, Jaden Epps. Who decides the game? If it just comes down to that, you'd side with Simpson? I'd probably side with Epps. I'm siding with Epps. I'm taking Georgetown. Taking Georgetown. Right. Three, oh, three, three in my book, 4-2 in Carter's book. Maryland Villanova at Villanova. God, I hate that Maryland's been so stinky, man. I want to. I want to pick. It's filling yeah, no, Stop yeah. it! You're about to. You're about to pick the Big Ten to win six two in this. After right. talking how bad the Big Ten is. My apologies. <laughs> well, also, where's UConn? Why is UConn not in this event, man? Yeah, are they wait, ducking? Wait, is is are, is Cam Spencer ducking? That's wild. Wait, how are they not? I don't know. I don't like it. Uh, Villanova beats Maryland, and then Butler, Michigan State, Pierre Brooks revenge game. I don't care what happens in the game. I cannot have Pierre Brooks have a good game. Michigan State's going to win, but if I could take over under 11 and a half for Pierre Brooks, I would hammer the over. Okay. I also want to know, I don't care if he went for 40. We saw what that man looked like. He got minutes. They gave him a chance, and he was clanky, and he was chunky. I think – you guys could really use a chunky shooter on this team, <laughs> like really badly, really horribly badly. We, uh, we tr- he can't, he, he could not shoot last year, man. He was so bad. He was clanking. Yeah, he didn't make shots. I don't like when shooters don't make shots. He is a shooter. He's going to be great at Butler. I think that's a good uh, find your level for Pierre. I think it'll work. 
Um, okay, so you have you have five three Big Ten, maybe six two if you have Maryland beating Villanova. Yeah, I have four four, and I feel horrible about that. I don't know how the Big Ten's tie. As some we're wrong somewhere. Like Marquette's going to beat Illinois. I think that's probably the one we're wrong about, right? Because the Big East is going to win this event. You think for sure? Yeah, the Big Ten's horrendous. I guess. I mean, I feel like you have two no-brainers. I think that Creighton for sure beats Iowa, and Purdue for sure beats Xavier. So, like, that's 1-1, I think, right there. Everything else is a little up in the air to me. What I will say is a lot of the teams I think are fraudulent in the Big Ten aren't playing in this event. Uh, Ohio State is not in this event. Indiana is not in this event. Northwestern is not in this event. So, like, I'm, we're talking about, like, teams that are not as good as we thought like Illinois I don't think necessarily is that Michigan certainly isn't that uh Iowa doesn't really belong in that category Wisconsin like you said even if I'm critical of them doesn't belong in the cat like this is this is the good group of Big Ten teams if there is such a thing right now yeah my Buckeyes I forgot about them man they really they stink they stink yeah Uh, should we should we wrap Gavit games anything else on Gavit games uh I'm just going to go out on a limb and end this with a take. I think that the Big Ten wins the Gavit games, even though they stink. Yeah, that's what you just did the last six minutes. Did you need to say that again? Yeah, I just wanted to get it out there and in, in sentence okay. form. Just stamp it. Okay. Yeah. All right. You want to put a number on it or not a numbers podcast? They win. We just <laughs> did this exercise. I know, but, but we all said different ones. I said, yeah, 6-2. Six, 6-2. Two. Six, two. I thought you were just going to give us a whole new number. I really no, no, no. Didn't. Six, six, two, six, two. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay. I'm sticking with uh, it's a tie. It's a tie or the big East wins five, three and somebody loses that shouldn't. That's my answer. 